let's talk about Babesia microti, its characteristics, life cycle, disease or diagnosis, symptoms and treatment, prevention and control. So, its characteristics. It is a protozoan parasite of the blood. It acquired during the sucking of the tick in a skin. So, ang Babesia microti is a worldwide species complex na magkos o gimuliktik disease which known as the babesiosis. So, it is from the kingdom of Eukaryota. Um, it has over 100 species around the world. But, mostly, makita ni sila sa West Country, specifically in US. They are from the pilum of albulata and a uh, apic a P-complex class, ang order is ang uh, Aconodoy, Aconodoy, Aconoy Dacida, and from the family of Pyroplasmida. Babesia microti life cycle. During a blood meal, a Babesia infected tick introduces sporozoites into the mouse host. That is the first thing in its life cycle. After that, uh, is what we called the budding. The budding, sporozoites after erythrocytes and undergo a sexual reproduction. So, mato ang budding. After so budding is in the blood, some parasites differentiate into male and female gametes, although these cannot be distinguished at the light microscope. So, this is what we call the separation of male and female gametes. And next is the tick will take meal and that is the blood or the what we call ingest gametes. So the definitive host is the tick and once ingested by an appropriate tick. So the fifth one is when the gametes unites and undergo a progenic cycle resulting in a sporozoites. After that or the sixth part of the life cycle is talk, talks about the human as a host so after nato sa mouse as the host of this sporozoites sa ika six nga part sa life cycle sa babesia babisi, microti is ang humans na sad so it enters the cycle when beaten by infected ticks during a blood meal a babesia infected tick introduces sporozoites into the human host. So, the human will get infected during that blood meal. After that is another budding na pod, but this time is sa human as a host na. I included this last stage of the babesia microti life cycle, which is um, dili na siya on that part. Um, this last stage is to aware everyone that Babesia microti can also transmit it from human to human via via blood transfusion. Disease caused by Babesia microti. So, Babesiosis is the disease caused by Babesia microti. It is not common here in the Philippines because this disease is occurring mostly in the western country, specifically in U.S., and Babesia microti is spread in nature by ex ex exodus scapularis ticks, also called as black-legged ticks or deer ticks. Babesiosis is a rare and life-threatening infection of the red blood cells that usually spread by ticks. So these diseases is makuha nato sa mga ticks. So, this microscopic parasite which can cause a babesiosis is ang infect sa ato ang red blood cells. So, this babesiosis can cause a special type of anemia called hemolytic anemia. So, dili lang siya um, makadaot sa atong red blood cells but it can also cause anemia. But this type of anemia can lead to a jaundice or the yellowing of the skin and darkening of our urine. Um, babesiosis usually happens in the warmer months. So, um, kita dire sa Philippines, uh, 
although dili kay ni common nga disease diri sa ato abat we should be aware kay naaman pud tay mga ticks diri sa Philippines and maybe or probably um pwede na sila mag lead or maghatag sa ato og babesiosis diagnosis for babesiosis so for the asymptomatic people who has babesiosis they are usually diagnosed through examining their blood it is to see in the microscope the babesia parasites or the babesiosis in their blood and of course to check for the sign of infection um, their blood will be tested they may also want to do other blood tests to rule out conditions with similar symptoms such as anaplasmosis or Lyme disease which is also caused by ticks. Sign and symptoms of babesiosis When we are beaten with a tick who are infected or na babesiosis, the first to eight weeks after the infection is asymptomatic and if na my symptoms it might include body aches, chills, fatigue, fever, headache, loss of appetite, in and sweating. So, this, these are the symptoms nga ato ang ma-observe during the first to eight weeks after nato um, mag, makuha ang, ang babesiosis. We can also get a condition called hemolytic anemia in which a red blood cell die faster with this condition we can have the symptoms of confusion dark colored urine dizziness heart murmur rapid heart rate swelling of our spleen and liver very pale skin weakness and yellow skin eyes and mouth or the what we called jaundice but doctors have treatment for this disease or the babesiosis for ill patients babesiosis usually is treated for at least 7 to 10 days with a combination of two prescription medication that medication typically either atovacon plus azithromycin or Slindamycin plus Cunin. This combination is the standard of care for severely ill patients. Prevention and control of babesiosis. Um, ticks that cause babesiosis typically have to stay on our body for 36 to 48 hours. That is for the infection to occur in our body or para makasulod siya sa atong blood. So, here are some ways to prevent one. Stay away from overgrown grasses and leave piles where ticks are likely to be because dihan na to makuha ang mga ticks. Wear long pants tucked into your sock and a long sleeve shirts when you're near when you're near where ticks strive or sa katong mga sagbuton nga lugar. Wear light color cloth so you can easily spot ticks use bug repellent that has DEET in it on your skin and clothing before going indoors check your clothing and pets for ticks once inside check your entire body for ticks using a full length or handheld mirror para mabantay na to if naabay ticks sa atong lawas before ta matulog or magpahulay so Remove any ticks with pointed tweezers, so if na aman. So that is Babisia microti. Thank you for listening. God bless.